the Tennessee offense will operate with two wide receivers. Sometimes they'll use a slot set. Usually they have split backs uh, as their two running backs. They've had remarkable balance between passing and running during the season, averaging 181 yards passing per game, running 238. And that's the type of balance, of course, every coach is looking for. That's of course, in blue, or if you're watching in black and white, the dark. As we look at the Tennessee, Tennessee offensive unit, you see that Mike Bevins is the center. Chip Kell, the All-American right guard. The tight end, Gary Tyler. The quarterback, Bobby Scott. McCleary for Tennessee. Second down and eight. The second play from scrimmage here in the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans. Bobby Scott. What a catch. Beautiful catch by Joe Thompson, number 90. This is Thompson coming off the line of scrimmage, driving downfield to push Jimmy Smith back, then running the outside break to the sidelines, and he did go high in the air to make the reception. Receivers. See what he goes to now in second and 15. A rollout pass. And it is Thompson again. Thompson at the 25. Now to the Air Force 20. Loose, lost the ball, but caught it on the bounce. Around the 19 of the Falcons. Thompson is the wide receiver from the slot set. He takes the break across the middle, catches the pass, and then turns on the speed. Beautiful move, and he almost drops the ball here, as you can see. In fact, he did drop it, but he got that honest bounce back in his own. Of the Air Force, Thompson to the far side. And Scott keeps it on the ground. A fumble, and let's see about recovery. Watson, the fullback for Tennessee, took the handoff. And the uh, Falcons, they're aggressive. They indicate that they felt they recovered it. But Pete Williams, the official, indicates that Tennessee picks it up at its own 19 for a second and 10. And just inside the 20 of the Air Force. Scott. A pinpoint pass to Lester McLean of Nashville, number 85. There were three Air Force defenders there at the five. Houston goal at the five of the Air Force. Going wide. And in. Don McCleary of Jackson, Tennessee, number 36, caps a 60-yard march by the Volunteers. You see Scott drop back here as though he's going to start a pass play, and then he runs the option. By making that little drop, the defense starts to rush the passer, and that delay lets McCleary get way out ahead of the quarterback. The Sugar Bowl in New Orleans, Louisiana, where the score is Tennessee 7, Air Force nothing. And the Falcons now show their potent offense that's averaged over 30 points a game. And there's the team. Split end is Mike Bolin, number 83. The tight end, Paul Bassa, six foot five inch pass catcher. Bob Parker, Bream, Brennan, and number 22, the flanker, Ernie Jennings. CI now, the Air Force. And taking advantage of the hole is number 49, Brian Bream, who is a junior. He's only five feet nine inches tall. But he likes uh, his center of gravity very much. We'll open up the passes for Bob Parker. Bob Parker with a tremendous 18.1 completions per game. That's quite a, quite a record. The first pass is completed to the tall end we were talking about. Paul Bassa. 6'5", 199 pounds. He liked Jennings on the lean side, but they are good. Jennings now to the far side of first and ten from the 30. And Breen gets the call for about a five-yard pickup as Tennessee leads 7-0, 10-37, remaining in the first quarter. It looks like that middle's wide open, but they'll fill it quickly if necessary. Second down and six for the Air Force at their own 34. And the deep back loses the ball, Breen. And it is a Tennessee recovery. Cheers. The volunteers again, Bobby Scott from his own 34. Hitting number 90, Joe Thompson. Felt the weakest part of the Air Force team, perhaps, was their secondary defense. This is Thompson running the sideline pattern. And he was wide open, as you could see. Kick off that distance in eight plays to score. On the delay, it goes to 31 Watson. Bauman is number 33, the left linebacker. 17. The Volunteers lead 7 0, third and six. <laughs> and 
And let's see, down at about the 13, not enough for the first down, was five man in the nation kick scoring. George Hunt, who's kicked 10 of 21, from the 20, plus the 10 of the end zone, a 30-yard field goal attempt is good. game is another ABC sports exclusive. With time out, the score is Tennessee 10, Air Force nothing. We return to our studios for this message. Hey Jennings, flanked to the far side of the field. The Sugar Bowl underway. And that Tennessee defense. Number 52 on defense. Second and 10 for the Air Force from their own 15. And Green just couldn't get underway. Number 83, sophomore Frank Howell. Team from their own 12. Bolin and Jennings to the near side as Parker needs to complete a long one. It's batted away. Fourth down coming up. The Air Tom Force Freer came in to knock it away. 41 yards. And back is Bobby Majors, a great athlete for the University of Tennessee. Here's the punt coming down near the 40. A loose ball. Scrambled for. David Allen was fielding it for the Volunteers and it's Recovered by Tennessee following a 29-yard kick. You know, as Bobby Scott, the quarterback, has fine field position following the short punt. Ogilvy making the stop for the defensive unit. And this is Smokey, the mascot for the Volunteers. He's a blue-tick coonhound. Now from the 40, it's a second down and eight. McLean to the far side of the field for Tennessee. This is Bobby Scott, number 10. Wow, Lester McLean on a put a good move on the linebacker, Bauman, who comes back to make the tackle. McLean all alone with most of the field, and he did make a fine down and out, then hook move. And when he's got room to run, he's as elusive as a halfback. 21 of the Air Force. Breaking a tackle is McLeary for his second touchdown. John McLeary of Jackson, Tennessee. Second completion to Paul Bassa, number 80, drawn by Bob Parker, and the tackle made by Tim Priest, who this year has nine interceptions. Of course, offensive line. Jennings and Bowen set to the far side of the field. Third and one, Parker calling number 10 to try for the first down. He's going to be mighty close. First down. 17 to nothing. Into the flat. Green. Had the ball, hit hard, fumbles. Tennessee recovers. David Allen again, number 13, putting a hard, charging tackle on the ball carrier. Covering the ball was Rotella, number 57, for Tennessee, and the Air Force now has lost two fumbles. This one coming at the Air Force, 26. I like to play with a ball that he has had the feel and touch of all year. McLean has replaced Thaler, number 85, is back in the lineup on a third and nine for the Volunteers. Was he inbounds? Yes, at the 11. First and ten, Joe Thompson again on the catch. He runs the sideline break. Scott throws a perfect strike to him. You can see his feet light inbounds, and then he was hit by Jimmy Smith and knocked out of bounds. Beginning another year. Thompson now has caught the ball three times, 44 yards. McLean has three catches for 57 yards. First and ten from the 11 for Tennessee. Wide open. Gary Thyler from Louisville, Kentucky. Just waited for the ball and waltzed in. The airport secondary got confused. I believe that they were trying to switch after the snap of the ball. It's down again. Scott faking and then drilling the ball and you can see the defensive halfback Mitchell of Air Force moving to the inside as the pass was thrown to the outside and that defensive error 
Let the receiver be wide, wide open. 5, 10, 15. Bowling forward across his own 20. So Bob Parker and the Falcons now will get it there as Caldwell made the tackle on Jennings. Let's see, we have a marker, and the yardage has stepped off against Tennessee. Green, 34, Brennan. Jennings, and he was interfered with. I think a videotape replay may back uh, the judgment call of the official too, bud. Six to the Tennessee 46. First down for the Air Force. About three minutes to go in the first quarter. Parker. And he finds Basso. Paul Basso, who this year caught 38 passes for an offensive unit that averaged over 30 yards. A dog has appeared here on the first day of 1971. <laughs> there he goes to the there far side. <laughs> like a lovely shepherd breed or collie here in New Orleans, Louisiana. Very proudly. Scared, no doubt. <laughs> Smokey, the blue tick coonhound, he wants to be in the yeah, act. I hope he doesn't mistake <laughs> that dog for a raccoon. <laughs> Smokey, cool it, and going to the opposite end of the field, <laughs> scoring more yardage than anybody. Is that the Sean at uh, New Year's Day Classic? Look out, Smokey. He's on the left. Smokey now uh, getting a little closer, of course, in tow of his handler there. Let's be friends. Beautifully called. <laughs> Uh, 194 yards. Our, our video is uh, 50 yards off. <laughs> well, this is the longest delay that I've seen in over 400 football telecasts over a long period of time. Come on, let's go through. All right, here we go. Second down to 10. Out of the way. That was a second down and ten play. Frank Howell standing up, and the Tennessee offensive lineman couldn't get her either. <laughs> Time of possession. That's the dog's possession of the game. <laughs> <laughs> to miss an airplane later, <laughs> it stopped. All right. Third down and ten for the Air Force. Intended for Mike Bowling, number 83, as Parker now has completed four of nine for 21 yards. It's awfully hard, seriously, to maintain your momentum on offense when you have that long delay and the... And now that poor, frightened animal. You'd think... Oh, she is... <laughs> took a nab at one of the men in blue here. That poor animal. I feel so sorry for her because... They really would like to get her out. Yeah. with the ball at the eight-yard line. They're on eight. A loose ball. Look out. Here may be. It is an Air Force touchdown by Daryl Haas. He signaled a touchdown, but I, I wonder if he meant it. Apparently. Touchdown uh, in that manner that we've seen scored this year. We had one sort of like it in the Notre Dame uh, Southern California game, but uh, let's watch it again. A bad snap, or at least the snap from center, got right past Scott. Scott tries to pick it up here. He does pick it up all right. His momentum carries him into the end zone where it would be a safety anyway, but the hard pursuit of the Air Force swarming all over Scott causes him to fumble, and there's the ball lying loose. Haas came in. Here he comes. On top of the ball for the Air Force score. Scott. A remarkable catch by Stan Trot, a sophomore from Montgomery, Alabama. 
That one good for 46 yards. Watson. Thrown for a one-yard loss by the Air Force defense. For the volunteers, it's a third down and 11. From their own 20, McLean 85 with a flanker to the far side. Rocking one to Stan Wold, who picks up five yards. And it'll be a fourth down coming up. Touchdown. Now, the attempt at the 32-yard field goal by George Hunt. He has a 30-yarder to his credit today. It's long enough. No good. Pete Williams, the referee, with the indication. So the Air Force Falcons will get the ball at their own 20-yard line for their first play of the second quarter here at the Sugar Bowl. Bowling to the right. Jennings in the slot. Bowen and Jennings flooding the right side of the field, and Bowen made the catch at approximately the 41. Ends up on the line as a split end. First down. And pinching in was the defensive end, Ronnie Drummonds. He was down and 17 from the 34 of the Air Force. Marker. Mike Bowen. Jennings to the near side of the field. Bolin opposite. Intended for Bolin. So it'll be a fourth down and seven for the Falcons. It's back there also. Scott Hamrather is punting and it's Majors looking up at the ball. Into the sun. Fine catch by this athlete. Majors returns it to his own 40, Balabor Sophomores. What a team. Second and 10. Steve Wold, number 32, the fullback, carrying on the play. Comes into the far side, third down. Well, it was tapped at first at midfield and then trapped to the far side. Bob Parker, the Air Force quarterback. And Green, who gained nearly 1,300 yards this year, thrown for a loss by Ray Nettles and teammates Rotella and Howell. The 19, the Air Force. Bowling Jennings to the wide side of the field. And it's completed to Jennings. That's his first catch of the ball game coming in with a total of 74 and 17 touchdowns. At that time to Bream freezes the linebacker Rotella and the pass is thrown so quickly that the defensive halfback cannot get up quickly enough to block the pass. Pass it now with four catches as get to the Tennessee 48 for a gain of four to be a second down and six. And Tennessee's domination very clear in those statistics. It's Jennings to the near side. The flanker is Bowling, 83. And down again. Frank Howell. That's the third tipped attempt at a forward pass by Howell from Columbia, Tennessee, the sophomore. Now he Mike Bowling to the near side. Jennings opposite. Third and six. And Bowling. At the reception, but did he fumble? David Allen of Tennessee. You can see Allen's feet at the top of the picture. Outside break. It looked like he had the ball, and Allen simply came in and took it away from him. This is during the season. Now from the 41, Tennessee. Beautiful move by McCleary, getting the handoff from Scott. The Air Force 41. And trying to get that four yards. And a pinpoint pass, Joe Thompson. Line up now, number 31 on a second down and eight. And the pass goes to the fullback, number 31, Kurt Watson. Bauman on the tackle as we look at Air Force coach Ben Martin. Third and one here. Oh, 
Gary Filer. And a fumble. Air Force has it. Tennessee making an error. As the there you see Jennings up on the line and split. Bowling at the very top of your screen. Parker, number 10. Loose ball. Bobby Majors recovers it for Tennessee. David Allen put the hard tackle on again. Now he's the wide receiver. Little inside quick throw. He has the ball, but he's hit so hard by Allen he can't quite hold it after making the catch. And the Air Force takes over after the fourth. Pardon me, Tennessee takes over after the fourth Air Force turnover. And they have the ball at the Air Force 27. First down. And Bobby Scott, the senior quarterback, might bring himself to go back far enough to make the catch. Ranked Tennessee in the 37th Classic. It was Kurt Watson on a third down and about five. And you can see how quickly Tennessee snapped the ball. The moment 31 points total coming in the first period. Ball now at the 18-yard line. And Watson goes through and he is warmed over by many cadets, including Thompson goes left. McLean, 85, to the right. McLarian Watson set. McLeary. Richardson, number 24. There he is. McLean, 85, is left. Thompson to the right. Here's Bobby Scott. And down the middle to Filer. Inside the 15-yard line, Phil Bauman to no avail and this one is 30 yards in length and no good so the Air Force gets the ball first and 10 at its own 20 4 to 7 3 24 remaining in the first half Tennessee leads the Air Force following the missed 30 yard field goal has the ball at the 20 and a loss tacked on Bream the ball at the 18 second down and 12 And going up with, for the ball, number 44, Bobby Majors from Sewanee, Tennessee. And his dad, Shirley Majors, is the football coach at Sewanee College. And four-yard gain by Tennessee, second down and six. Thompson at the top of your screen. And Watson, a determined runner, is the Falcon flutters on the far sideline. Scott Third down inches. Any doubts? It was Watson. Joe Thompson left. McLean to the right. Loose ball. Air Force. Bowman. Phil Bowman coming up with the football. Scott here at the Sugar Bowl, bud, we've had eight turnovers. The fake of the pass here, this is the fumble. The option by Scott, he threw the ball a little bit behind McCleary. Bowman of the Air Force comes in to make the recovery. That's the... Mike Bowen is split to the near side. Jennings is opposite. Parker is nailed and loses the ball. A teammate recovers. Is Drummond coming in. It appeared that Parker had gotten away, but he was caught from behind, turn, twist, the ball pops loose. But fortunately, his teammate was in on the ball. And Elmo Wright of Houston. That's the East-West Shrine game tomorrow, ABC, 4.30 Eastern Time. Bill Fleming and Don Meredith are out there and ready to go to add to your holiday enjoyment tomorrow on ABC. Third down and nine now from the 26. Mike Bowen and Jennings over the near side of the field. Basso opposite. Breen. Gives you a little better idea of why Breen gained nearly 1,300 yards on the ground this year. And let's see, Mr. Thompson is to the far side of the field. From the 38, Scott looking. And 
pulling the ball down for the Air Force Falcons is Jimmy Smith, number 42, from Colorado Springs. Another turnover. Entertainment coming up. The score here at the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans is Tennessee 24, Air Force 7. We return to our studios for this message. Yard line. This is Green carrying on the play. The number of turnovers, Tennessee had three fumbles and one interception. The Air Force had uh, three fumbles and two interceptions. There are the statistics, and you can see total nomination by Tennessee. 269 total yards against 101 for the Air Force and the turnovers that I talked about a moment ago. Tennessee had the ball 17 minutes and 33 seconds of the first 30 minutes. So a loss of a yard. It'll be second down and 11. As again, the forward pass is batted down, this time by Ronnie Drummond. C-22. Parker is calling signals number 10. And as we indicated, in 11 seasonal games, Parker was thrown for a loss only five times. And uh, already today, the Tennessee defense has caught him for losses four times. This time again, Drummond's kick on fourth down, punting for the academy. Booms one, Bobby Majors, one of the Tennessee men deep. That is Bobby. Fifty-five yards, Bobby Majors, and only a junior. And Bobby Majors had to put the move on Scott Ham. So after a minute and a half of play, Tennessee has scored. Best wishes for the merriest of holidays from ABC. For the timeout here at the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans, Louisiana, the score, Tennessee 31, the Air Force 7. Behind to cover the ball. Jim Smith was back there deep. Let's watch the excellent blocking on this punt return for the touchdown again. You can see Majors, he's hit the wall of blockers along the line of scrimmage. He makes a great move against Ham here. Ham did not even lay a glove on him as he takes it into the end zone for the score. Fine team play and a great move by Bobby Majors. Ball in New Orleans, Louisiana. The score in the third quarter, Tennessee 31, Air Force 7. Smith is deep. And he was calling for a fair catch, number 42. Bobbled it momentarily, retained possession at the Tennessee 48 by 36. Pinpoint pass to Paul Basso. Basso is in the inside the Tennessee 35. He's to the near side of the field. Green. The green from San Leandro, California. Number 10 is Bobby Parker. Touchdown, Air Force, Paul Bassa. A 27-yard scoring play, Bob Parker hitting Paul Bassa, number 80. The draw play to Breen, keeping the ball, and you can't throw it any better than this one. Bassa is just barely open, but Parker had it perfectly on target for the touchdown. Mike Boland is left and Jennings right. Quickie to Boland. Nice job of breaking away by Boland. He's a senior from Phoenix, Arizona. Parker. And he hits Jennings. His second catch of the Sugar Bowl. First and 10 from the 46, the Air Force. Mike Bowling. Parker faced now with a third and seven as a result. And it's batted down once more. And number 83, he is a master at that. That's for him today, Frank Howell. And even though he was on his knees, a tremendous catch at about the 22 by Gary Filer. Completed 118 passes and 14 touchdowns. And on the second and 10, Kurt Watson, number 31, to the near side. 
And it's Thompson. And you saw Scott very coolly survey all areas of the field. He did everything with his eyes that time except look at the man he was going to throw to. But Quite a bit of passing yardage today by both quarterbacks. Scott with 220, Parker with 194. And Kurt Watson breaks loose. Or rather, a third down. Now make it second. <laughs> it's right the first time. Oh, beautiful pass by Scott to Thompson. Joe Thompson. Running a crossing pattern through the posts. Scott had lots of time to throw it. And Thompson was determined to break those tackles. Which made my spotter, Bill Friel, cringe because he's a Temple graduate. Bobby Scott now on a second and five. That's the first time that they've gotten to him. Formation of the far side. And it's the second time that they get to Scott. Mayfield, number 61. Rifling through, joined by Buster Alloway. As we look at Air Force coach Ben Martin. Steve word that Ernie Jennings, they taped his knee, and he'll be back in the lineup as Majors gets one very high. And it takes a... Academy bounce as though the Falcon had lifted it and brought it back. Two yards on the distance. At the Mike Bowen, number 83, split to the near side. Jennings flanked at the top of your screen. Here's Parker. Jennings, 22, couldn't hold on. Third and nine. 1953. Now the third play of the fourth quarter. Third and nine for the Air Force. And Marker is down. Parker. Ooh. Loose ball. Unless ruled that it was a forward motion of the arm. Rotella was the back getting set to throw. You have to turn. And just as Parker turned, he was hit. And the fumble, of course, uh, knocked the ball out of his hand as he tried to throw it. Uh, Tennessee recovers. And that's the sixth turnover. Let's take a look at it again. You can see Parker as he rolls out. Jennings starting down the field on the left of the screen. We get a reasonable block there by Breen and Parker gets away from the first rush. Now as he tries to turn, he is hit before he can start his arm forward. And Over the outstretched arms of Joe Thompson, which brings up a third down and nine. And in the lineup we have 31 Watson, the tailback is McCleary, number 36 for Tennessee. <laughs> Intended for Thompson and a Falcon, Jimmy Smith nearly had it. And now Hunt will try a field goal from the 32 plus the 10 of the end zone, 42 yards into the wind. It's up and it's no good. Timeout at the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans. The score, Tennessee 31, Air Force 13. Field, he's number 91, second and 13. And again, Breen. Is that a frustrating afternoon? Colin Elmendorfer, our first year varsity men. And the 11th turnover, a sophomore, Conrad Graham. Uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, steals a pass intended for Mike Bolin at the 22 of the Air Force. It's a first and goal. Interception here. Watch Richardson now as Thompson breaks to the outside. He thinks he's got the interception, but the ball slips right through his hands and into Thompson's hands. And he makes the catch with a foot inbounds, as you can see. And it's first down, Tennessee. That's his seventh catch. Ten years old. Third and goal. Fourth down. Coming up, Richardson. Blitzing. Joined by Ogilvy. And Richardson fell. He had stolen the football. Johnson centering the ball. A 33-yard attempt is up. Good. ABC 
presents the Sugar Bowl from New Orleans, Louisiana. With timeout to score, Tennessee 34, the Falcons 13. Here's the 131st play from scrimmage in the ball game. From the 33, Air Force first down. Paul Bassa. 5, 199, coming out to about the 39. See him back there off the line of scrimmage, leaving apparently a big gap in the middle. Second and five for the Air Force from the 38. Green, who specialized during the year at breakaway, breaking tackles. Of course, the senior from West Covina, California, number 10. First down from the 46. Looking for Bowling. And Mike has it. Good average on his passing here in the Sugar Bowl today, too. Now he's faced with a third and one from the Tennessee 45. Interception, Conrad Graham. The fourth interception. Let's watch it again. Bowling. Coming to the inside on the X pattern. He got a hand on it. It bounced up in the air, and Graham alertly caught the ball, and he truly fights for yardage here. Looked for a moment like he was trying to throw a lateral, but he was winning from the sunshine, not from displeasure, because her team is in the lead, 34-13. Young and going out on patterns. George Silvey, number 43, a junior fullback. And Bud, speaking of Plunkett, we'll be talking about Plunkett and all the great stars in the hula ball a week from tomorrow. Now he'll try to work from the 28. Second down and one. Rolling through with Steve Wold. 42nd play of the ball game. And it's an interception by Sid Metalla. Trot was the intended receiver. There's Metalla, number 47. Highlights of the National Basketball Association. There's Parker from his own 21. Phillipson. Number 91, the senior from Seattle. Parker on the right, rolling out as Phillipson drives down the field, takes the inside cut as his slot man goes to the outside, then turns again to his outside as Parker delivers the ball. He goes high in the air here to bring the ball down. It was a prevent defense by Tennessee. Their guard gate at the 47, first down. 34-13. A minute 42 left in the game. Everybody wants the ball. And it's another interception, the fifth. Fumble, rather. Excuse me. It's the fifth fumble. That yes. combined with four interceptions, but a total of nine errors. And then do the professionals. And Chadwick, the sophomore, has caught a thrill, completing a pass in the Sugar Bowl to Steve Wold, his fullback, as Bowman makes another tackle. Robert Lassiter to this side. Opposite is Sonny Leach. And it's Lassiter from Beth Page, Tennessee. Another sophomore grabbing it, and then tackled by Gary Blank. Second down and 10. Probably the last play of the ball game. Three receivers going out. And that's it. Ben Martin of the Air Force Academy. Here comes Bill Fattle, 29 years old, and as head coach in his first postseason classic, he is the victor. The handshake, 34-13. We'll be following the Sugar Bowl telecast today. You'll want to stay tuned for a special program of NBA basketball highlights. Coming up next on ABC. This is Chris Shankel along with Bud Wilkinson saying so long from the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans, Louisiana.